Hey y'all, and welcome to another episode on the Townsend server. I'm your host, Chaos. We are on episode number 10. And today, well, during a live stream with Diamond Doozer, if you haven't seen his live stream, better check it out. I'll link his Twitch in the description below. We finished up our game. Yes, from... Last episode, we started Wipeout, and we started working on together, and now we have it complete. Yes, that is correct. We have completed the Wipeout game, and it's amazing. All the redstone's hooked up, all the uh, components are all hooked up, so we've got the punching wall with the big red balls, I don't know what to call that, but it's like a platform where it just goes up and down. And we have a balancing beam where snowballs and or arrows are going to be thrown. And then you have to jump on a series of uh, end rods to get to the next platform. And then you get up and you have to jump on a moving uh, swing, I guess we'll call it. And then from these two... Yeah, it might not look like you basically have to cross it. However, there's going to be random blue ones that are going to be coming up and down. And you got to time it extra perfectly because if you don't, you're in water and you have to keep swimming. And then the last one is you get all the way up to the top. We did a water elevator, so you didn't have to climb. And you have to land on this. And that is the finish line. So we got the redstone all worked out where you enter through here we'll just get up here so the string's not in because we don't want the system to start and stuff so when you cross through the redstone which we've very well hidden it will start the timer it will also start the machine and it will also end the machine as well and and the timer so simple as that you just have the stone here and every two seconds it will enter, or every second we'll have two items come through. And then you just count how many went through. And I'm going to clean up the area now and make a book and kind of decorate this little place. Well, we're here back at my base. I basically have all the shulker boxes filled with stuff. And I'm just having them go into my... In input to my storage system and now I have to sit here and wait because sometimes it likes to skip things for some odd reason but this one it's not my redstone boxes as I have two redstone boxes here but it's actually the naughty box yes with Christmas just around the corner they is there are two shulker boxes a green one and a red one the red one's naughty and the green one's nice I've already gone the nice one and I did its deed where you basically just put something in and pass it on and it's any way you can pass it on well diamond got the naughty and he decided to pass it on to me so in retrospect that uh, the idea of it is that it's quite simple uh, just add one prank idea to the box I have prepared the correct amount of slips of paper for you to write on along with the box for them as soon as you have added a prank, pass the box along to another person or return it to the naughty and na or nice mini shop. Now, I have no idea where that is, so I'm going to try my best to pass it on. So now I just have to think of a prank, which this one's kind of a mean one. Because, uh, I mean, we already got give turtle diamonds and kill them. <laughs> That one's kind of mean, which I don't think Doodle would like very much. So now, I'm thinking along the lines of, hmm, let me get back to you on what I've come up with. So I've come up with the prank, and it's trap member and kill with TNT. I uh, couldn't do any member because it was just slightly too long. So that is going in there. So now we've got two. So now people have to give turtles and then kill them. And then they have to try and trap a member and kill them with TNT. Ooh, 
That one's gonna be fun. I'm gonna be so mad if I get if if that member is me, cause I come up with a prank and sure enough, it's the one that uh, I get killed with. So here is, I guess you, I kind of haven't really said anything, but my wall of heads. Um, I haven't really decided on if I was gonna do like an actual room. Maybe I should, cause I got a lot of stuff to build underground. Um. So we got some player's head. Uh, I guess Ray, uh, th this one's Ray's head, and I guess she got killed a couple times, and they had her as a shroom. So there was that. Uh, I got a monster beast right there as well. Another Ray's head, and this one, squid's head actually, which you might think that's a regular squid, but it's actually a squashy squid. Um, we call it, it, it. It's funny, and I, I'm pretty sure I said this before, but all the animals on our server. All wear suits. So Jumbo Chicken wears a suit. Huffle Duck wears a suit. And Squashy Squid also wears a suit. And when you get all three of them together, it's hilarious. But this is my favorite. This one is my all-time favorite because it is a narwhal in a doodle hoodie. Yes, doodle likes narwhals. And I will put up a picture of what she's designed with and it's absolutely fascinating and she's a lovely artist and so here we have uh, instead of a doodle in a narwhal sh uh, sweater it's a narwhal in a doodle sweater and she's even worn the skin and it's absolutely hilarious because it looks so adorable and I love it with a lot um, which that reminds me, I must say, I love going down this tunnel because all I hear is just pressure plates going and it just sounds so wonderful. It sounds like a wave. Click, 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 and then nothing. Ah, see, this is what happens sometimes when you get off a boat, you just disconnect, reconnect, and there it is. So we will put this boat away. And yeah, let's let's get on to what I wanted to show you. This is what I wanted to show. Um, I thought it would have been done by now because earlier today, Doodle was working on it, but I guess not. Um, I I hope it's okay to show it. Um, I'm really sorry if it isn't, but this is Doodle's skin shop. Yes, she's made my skin. She's made um, a slight variation version of diamonds I think I can't remember uh, she made white top uh, 8282's two Christmassy things uh, she made Wokachu's uh, skin and she made my skin and so she's gonna put her skin making skills and convert it to re uh, I guess diamonds on the server speaking of diamonds diamond even said I would pay you real money to make a skin because She's she's fantastic at at these and I really like to show things off as much as I can because and we got to we got to make it that she's got to start making some YouTube videos. So put down in the comments of doodle making YouTube videos. And speaking of well this is Dragon Ball. Hey DB. How's it going today? Yes. Dragon Ball is our lovely one that likes to build a lot of stuff, and he makes fantastic stuff. Actually, let's let's go check out his base. So this is the lovely Dragon Ball, um, and he's got like a Santa outfit, which is awesome. But as you can see, here's some of his designs that he's got. Um, he's got this lovely thing, and this this is where his portal is. Absolutely fan freaking tastic. Uh, I don't know what this is because I've barely been around his base lately, but uh, this looks to me like some sort of design here, which mostly has his beacons and wow my goodness this this is incredible and whoa, what's that over there? Ooh, That looks like a concrete Yeah, a stone maker. Hey, he's, he's got a freaking stone maker generator that that's Quite amazing. He's got ice there. I don't know what that is. Oh. 
Oh, as I fall down, let's see if I... Okay, I can get back up. Uh, this, this is just absolutely wonderful. Man. I'm so jealous of these people that can just build incredible builds. And then there's me that can... What is that over there? Let, let's, let's go. Oh. My. Goodness. Insane. But. Uh, I don't even know what it's supposed to be, but. <laughs> I, I'm speechless. This, this is amazing. Well, let's see if we can get a better look at it. And. Ooh. Oh, that's a melon and pumpkin. And he's got, I think, a cactus, zero tech cactus. But oh, let's let's get a better view of this. I, I'm speechless on Dragon Ball. You make some of the best things. Why you no do videos? That that I I don't know why. Like I said, some of the best designers, you know, like Alu and Ray and Doodle and Dragon Ball. None of you guys do videos. Make some videos. We want to see your work in action. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess this episode has been kind of all over the place. You know what? Let's, let's kind of do, uh, base tours, I guess, you know? Yeah, you know, we're ten, we're ten episodes in of Shoutopia. So, uh, let, let's do some base tours. How about that? Next on our list is none other than La Finn, which she's got a lovely little village going. Kind of like what I wanted to do last season on Townsend, but... Never actually really completed it. Even comes with their own little trading areas. So we got a farmer. We got a toolsmith, I think. If I can reach. No, okay. Clerk. Fish. Oh, we got no shepherd here. Wonder what happened. So we got a little trading. got sheep. Fences everywhere, but it kind of puts it together nicely. Uh, the main reason why we're over here is because I have to give her a spruce sapling, which I think she said she was in her storage area. So let's go to this wonderful house we got here going. Uh, let's go through the basement. And we've I've got a Lovely little dungeon esque area. And outside to the backyard, which will. Alright, let's check upstairs here. Her wall of death that she got all the different heads. It's got Diamond, myself, Doodle, uh, Yokai Wolf, and I think that's Jumbo Chicken. Not 100% sure. Or could. Yeah, I think it is Jumbo Chicken. And she's on a killing spree. Alright. Uh, loving the carpet here. All the way to the attic. Let's check this out. Oh, not too bad. And what's through here? This house didn't look that big. But whoa. Like, wonderful. Absolutely be a beautiful little house she has. Okay, so there's bamboo farm, sheep, cow. Some redstone contraption. So yeah, that whoa. That is kind of cool. Well, here's a lovely view of Finn's base now. Let's go see where she is. All right, we found LaFin here, giving her her sapling that she needed. And let's check this place out now. And put, oh, it's her storage. It's a storage unit. Now that is, or is that input, output? Is that for something else? No, I think this is her storage unit. But, wow. This is well done. Definitely well done indeed. 
Such a beautiful design. See, that's the thing about these people is that they design some magnificent stuff. Like I said, I'm I'm jealous. Okay, here's all the redstone for every single one. See, even though this takes less even though this takes less redstone than my storage, I prefer my storage because of it being fully customizable whereas if you have to, you can only do one item per thing. So that's that's partially why I like mine a bit better. Then only XP, yeah. Definitely for her only. Well, thanks, so Finn, for showing me around. Um, yeah, I. Let's see who the next person I'm gonna show. Next on our list is gonna be Momon's base. Uh, she's actually online right now, and we're just gonna hop right over to and ignore the two pigmen there because we don't want to touch them because that is a big no-no. All right, do 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 do. Come on. I, I, the leg is just terrible some days. And he, oh, there's another pigman. Oh, and there's Mom Mom. Hi, Mom Mom. Hi. All right. So. Okay. Uh, well, in in this yeah, in this video, I'm just gonna do a base tour. So just kind of or showcase, I should say, not a full on tour. So kind of. Okay. Show me. Show me what you got. Well, okay. Well, over here, um, a mini farm with the sheep to uh, some auto harvesting sheep and and you're missing one. There, I got it. Ah, I'm missing I'm... one. Oh, it was um, it, it was on the fence ledge. Ah, okay. There we go. I got it. Yeah. So I got that, and somebody gave me a rainbow sheep. <laughs> the Jeb sheep. I, I think that was Doozer. Oh, probably. So, uh, so we've got. Oh, what was that? All right. What's okay. next? Well, let's see here. Let's find the inside part. We've got a. Uh, to to yeah. me, that looks like a headless. Oh, it's an upside down one. <laughs> yes. He's been rather quiet since I turned him upside down. Well, I can I can see his face is straight in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> He's five. Okay. So organize this a little bit better. So we have now when we get raids, we can have portals to shoot out of. Oh, nice. So that'll a... give us a little bit of protection. Uh, bows and arrows for raid. There's also, uh, there'll be more lava buckets in there right Ooh. now. I think there's one. Um, I did that all the way around the ex outside of my base here. Yeah, because we had a raid the one time, and that was, that was it nasty. It was murder. Yes. Uh, haven't decided what to do with them yet. I'm done breeding them. Thanks to Doodles, we have a waterfall and fish. Ooh. Yeah, she's really good at that kind of stuff. And she loves her animals. Well, she built them on the roof and they drove me nuts, so I turned my breeding chamber into a fountain. Then uh, we got... Part of the security is up here. You've seen part of this. Um... Oh, yeah, falling into... Yeah, just make sure when you come in, make sure those other two trap doors are there. You fall into lava. However, um... Where'd you go? Oh, there I, you go. Sorry. I now have a lot of lava up here for us. Ooh. So now yes. when we want to drop lava on their heads, we can. And what's this you got here? What's that? Ah, the chorus fruit farm. That's one of, that's one of Doozard's put-togethers. Oh, wow. My job is maintaining it. Well, look yeah. at you. And, uh, yep, my job is maintaining that beast. I'm also over here trying to make a chamber. They're going to have to, the, with the pillagers come now, they're going to be limited on how they get in here. We're going to have a little bit more control over them. 
uh, if we can hop down here and I can show you what we did over there let's come well, through here. now we're, now we're back here yes um, it's a pretty haphazard once you learn it it's pretty good it's like a maze in your base it is a maze. It this is. is this is an this amazing is base. And if you follow the snow blocks, it will lead you to my zombie farm. Ooh, a zombie farm. Um, I've I've got a got a creeper up. Ooh, I got a couple guys up there. We'll try to dodge them. I'm gonna attack. Charge. You're gonna attack. All right. Go I ahead. can I can easily take out a creeper. No problem. I've got the gear for it. Come at me. Come at me. Come at me, Skelly. There we go. Done. Okay, he's gone. All right. Okay. So in the back section for security, I built a high wall that I can get out, but they can't get in. Oh. There's a door in one spot so that Doozer can get through from his base if he decides to walk over. <laughs> yeah, because you're not far from Doozer. No, but every time... Every time I go over there, I get killed. So, I won't go over there. Uh, in the back of my thing, I put lava, so pillagers will have to go, choose to go through lava. Okay. I, I'm looking at all sorts of ways of defending the base. <laughs> From this <laughs> side, I think the only way they can come through is to come through this channel. Oh, yeah, and that's the case. You can just pin them down and, and everything. And... The hope is we can nail them there instead of going through what we went through the last time. It's not going to help with the uh, flying stuff, but... Well, yeah, the vexes and everything. But that's, yeah. the, that's the thing with Ravengers. They can still hit you through like a one, one whole wall. Okay. So those are the first ones. That's where the lava comes in. Right. Yeah, I remember at my... Um, on the last server... I had a raid in my farm, or in my base, and I just lured all the villagers over to, or all the ravengers over to a pool area that I had, and uh -huh. I just got them in there, and then they they just swam into the lava and died. Okay. Yeah, here's another uh, ammo for when we get pillagers. Man, we can, uh, we can almost just make your base the raid farm. We could. I don't mind. Ooh, that... Because I know there's extensive raid because, farms, but you just kind of made it yourself. Yep, and if we go back here, we can shoot from here. Or from over here. Oh, that's pretty cool. This one, I realize, is a bit of a problem. In order to get back there, you got to kill. you got to knock out the... <laughs> knock out the pumpkins. Knock out, some, not out, knock out some pumpkins to get through there, yeah. And eh, not, not a problem at all. That's easy enough. And um, that's pretty much the inside. So and then we go out to the other side here. Come out this way. And we have a kelp farm over here, just for pers just a small one. And hey, any anything works. Processing. Yep keeps me processing. I've got my tree farm down here, which desperately needs harvested. Oh, it's one of the manual ones. Yeah, uh, Yes, I'm not good at redstone. The only <laughs> redstone I've got is what you guys all have helped me with. <laughs> well, what, what I've, I've said this before and I'll keep saying it again. We have builders, we have redstoners, and we have, <laughs> we have both, and landscapers. <laughs> and then you get me. Uh, chicken farm in here. No, nothing wrong with being a newbie. Oh, there you go. Ooh, chicken farm. Yep. So, Just okay. Just basic feed them, kill them, harvest them, have fun with the eggs. Oh, we, 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 can't, we can't kill animals here, because then the wrath of Doodle will happen upon us. Oh, well. I'll deal with Doodle. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh, somebody's chasing us down up there. Oh no, it's White Top. Okay. Up here we have, and I had a lot of help with this from quite a few people, is. Well, this yep, looks. Yep, we hear you. Uh, 
the uh, farm. Not totally automated. I still have to replant everything, but it works. Oh, well, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah, it, it, I had it to does. Raise up the walls. It does the job. It works. It does. It works very well. Um, I had to raise up the walls to keep things from getting stuck. Now nothing gets stuck on the walls anymore. Yeah, no, that's. But you got everything. Whoop. Yeah. You got your wheat. You got your beets. You got your carrots. Just trying to. Carrots and potatoes. Yep. I'm still eating candy corn. <clears throat> I might. I don't know if I could get away with putting. Uh, Sugar cane in here or not? No, sugar cane works that much. Needs more water. Yeah, that needs more water. Yeah, it, it's every single one needs water. Yeah. And so right now, this is my, this is my main patch of sugar cane. I want to fix that and make it better, more efficient. I guess go. I got a bunch of kelp down there for harvesting kelp if my kelp farm's not fast enough. Mm -hmm. And if I figure out what to do with them, I've got turtles over here. Turtles, turtles. Yeah. Yes. And I have them locked in. They cannot escape. Oh, really? I have them blocked in. I have them blocked in. Where are they? Where are they? They're over there. I gave them a nice big pond. There should be three of them in here. Yeah, one, two, and three. And three. There's one swimming. Is that Jordan? Yep. Oh, my God. So they can't get out anymore. Huh? So, but that's, uh, that's the base at this point. About the only thing original to the base is this little structure. I pretty much took over an old village that was all different levels and made what I could with it. Well, this base looks awesome. And of course, you gotta see the cemetery. I don't know if you've seen my cemetery. No, I haven't. You haven't seen the cemetery. Well, this is this part of the cemetery. And so we've got all of our kills, including yes, chaos. I've got you up here. I got your head. Um, I don't see my head. Huh? I don't see my head. Isn't that your head? That's White Top's head. Well, where's Chaos's head? I had Chaos's head because I killed him by accident once when we were building. That's that's your other skin, Chaos. That's that's the girly skin. Oh, that's skin. the old skin. That's right. That's that's the girly skin. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> that that looks nothing like. If anything, that looks more like Doodle. No. no. You pick up that head. It says Chaos's I'm head. <laughs> Why did you say? That's what you. That's the head you had on when we were building the. Um, <laughs> um, ah. I still the don't. Farm, the store. Hmm. <laughs> so that's what you were wearing for the Endrod store. Maybe there's an imposter because I don't recognize that at all. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for uh, giving the little base tour. Base tour, yeah. Thanks for coming over. No problem. And, uh, I'm gonna duck out of here for a while because I got things to do tonight yet. All right, sounds good. We'll uh, catch okay. you later. Yep, I'll catch you later. I plan on getting back on when I get home. All right, sounds good. <laughs> Thanks for coming over. Well, that was fun being at White Top or uh, Mom Mom's base, but White Top is right next door, and she was happily wanting to show off her base. So, she's just on the other side here. We go through the portal and... Hello, White Top. Hello. How's it going? It's going pretty good. That's good. I'm really enjoying your videos, and this is... That's almost the best way I can see some of your bases. <laughs> <laughs> but every once in a while, I pop over here and see what's all going. So, what have you done so far? Uh... Um, lots of things. I've been very busy, busy doing different things. If these doors would work right. <laughs> yeah, they were working fine for me. I don't know what you're issuing. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but right now, this um, I just started out 
from nothing basically. I started out with this mountaintop up here and I started building. Um, this was my first building right here that the portal is in right here. Um, just a basic rustic house right now. And then I outgrew that and then I had to go to this one. Well, we all know what this place looks like. I mean, I'm more yeah. used to it seeing it underwater. Yeah, let me go <laughs> sleep real quick. So, um, these oh. uh, brain, brain bat brats here don't. Ooh, the cats are hissing. You hear them? Oh, yeah. Actually, actually, I don't have my sound on. I turn off. Oh. Yeah, the, the cats hiss at those things so bad. Yeah, I, I, I sometimes go AFK at, at loud stuff, so I turn my music or sound off, and then I forget to turn the sound back on. <laughs> okay. Um, so, white sheep for my white wool that I collect. Um, cactus farm here that's automated. This is my first ever automated cactus farm. I'm very proud of that. <laughs> well, it looks wonderful. How, um, how, how efficient is it, like, in loss-wise? Uh, it's that I know of. I don't believe there's any loss that I know of. Like, I haven't really seen much on the sides of the edges or anything like that. Yeah, because um, as soon as an entity... It does really good. Yeah, because as soon as an entity hits even the top, it gets destroyed. Yeah. So, yeah. It, it works really well. Like, I've got tons of green dye. Um, well, that's good. Form, um, first ever automated sheep form I've done, and I'm, you know, I, I was shown how to do it between you and I am one which is my my husband in real life ooh seems like we got a lot and, of family on here yes 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 and uh once he showed me kind of how to do it I was able to finish all the mod modules and I've got one of every color and they're and all upside down from. yes what's, what's with because um, even in in white in mama's base her pigments upside down yeah, I noticed that. He he uh, he likes to show off his hind end for some reason. <laughs> um, and the sheep are all belly up. So I, I don't know. We, we haven't, you know, totally quite figured out who did it. But um, we've got an idea. <laughs> so, but I've collected lots of wool so far. I've got plenty of my shops are nice and full. And, yeah. So. And then we've got a little pond here. Yeah, a little pond that it's supposed to, you should, you, you can put in different items. <clears throat> you can shoot in different items. Like I was putting wool in and um, just different just kind of throwaway items. And it shoots, supposed to shoot stuff up. So it's pretty cool. And we got a puffer yeah, fish in there. Work. Yes. Well, it should work. I designed it. <laughs> but you got to come and do this, though. No. Oh, I hear the clicking. Whoa, there goes the item. And there it goes again. Let's throw another item in. Yeah, so Sam being a transparent block, it kind of... Oh, and then they pop on the ledge. Yep. Whee. And that puffer fish is mad. Yeah. He doesn't like people watching him. <laughs> All right. Uh, what else we got here? Okay. Next, I've got some tree forms going over here. I've got the basic ones. I've got plenty of spruce around, so I didn't do one for spruce. So I've just got the oak, the dark oak, the jungle in the corner over there, and then the big thing of birch. Just to make sure I've got enough wood to do the things that I do, to build, to build the things that I do. Oh, yeah. I um, mean, you know, wood and stone seems to be your specialty. Oh, yes, definitely. Uh, the cocoa beans for the brown dye. All the um, sugar, cane. sugar canes right here. This down here is a new area that I'm going to continue building on. Um, I built these two farms just to help help with the um, getting XP, basically, since our gold form doesn't like to work on the server for some reason. <laughs> yeah. um, I've been trading with villagers to get xp bottles yeah. and to just get xp in general yeah the like tra training so, with villagers seems to be the best way to get xp <laughs> i get a lot i mean y'all it, it oh my awesome. <laughs> if i if i have enough stuff my emerald factory can really really go oh yeah definitely so and the so fact this way again more, more forms of course 
Um, and these are the newer houses that I've built. Um, the barn here with all my llamas and my scaly horses. Llama, llama. Yeah, I like the llamas. I love their carpets. Being able to you, put the different. You know that. You know this reminds me. What? Llamas with silly hats. <laughs> you, you've seen that, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Comment down below if you've seen llamas with hats. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, you, you should you you, you should name you should name one Paul and Carl. <laughs> yeah, I haven't named any yet. I need to start naming them. Carl, like actually do it long wise. Carl. Mm -hmm. Yep. But uh, this is the terracotta house. This is where I store my terracotta at. Oh, a lot of terracotta. Oh, a lot of terracottas. That's all that's in here. Wow. Lots of terracotta. I've, and I've, been busy, I've been busy mining. Well, that that that's good. Because we don't have a terracotta shop. Capitalize right, on it. And that's that's what I'm working on. That's I'm trying. I want to try to get you know full show, full, full boxes, full chests of terracotta of all the different colors. And once I've managed to do that, then I'm going to open up a shop. Um, so selling terracotta. So. Yay! Although I don't really build with terracotta or even concrete. See, I do. I, I like to build with terracotta. I like the different colors of it and just the different shades of colors. I love it. Maybe love I it, should. Love it, love it. Maybe uh, I should just pay either you or Doodle or Alu or Ray. Just pay them to build my base. Just. <laughs> <laughs> I build redstone. That's what I'm good at. Designing stuff like this, I'm not good at at all. Mm hmm. I tried. I stepped on a pressure plate to open the door at the same time it closed it, and I went, As "What?" You, yeah, it happens. This is my farm house, is what I call this. This is the um, where I just keep all my foods, farm items, and stuff like that. So it's a little easier for me to come in and collect things whenever I need to go trade with villagers and stuff like that, and just in general where I keep my food. So nice. Yep. And what's up here? And then this is just another house. I haven't finished the interior yet, but I did all of the outside of it. Um, but you can just walk through here and just kind of go through it and cut different um. levels. I just need to, you know, finish decorating it. I did make a bedroom kind of here just so I had a bed in this side of the base whenever I was, you know, doing things. So <laughs> It's a double bed. <laughs> yes, it's a double bed. It's not a queen, it's not a king, it's a double. <laughs> and then out back here is the little backyard. Ooh. Oh, got a little patio set going. Mm-hmm. Just chilling by the fireplace. Yep. But underneath the little umbrella, you know, just kind of sitting and chilling. Ow! Yep. Hey, don't it, it, it burns this. Yeah. Watch yeah. out, it burns this. <laughs> It, it it burns us. <laughs> I, I I burns. <laughs> All right. Well, this looks like a pretty awesome little base. Yeah, like I said, I'm not done. I've lots more, you know, that I definitely want to get done and just um, you know, add on to it and build different things and do different things and of course my little cowsies here, you know, just so I will get my leather and stuff like that. But yeah. so. Yeah, so this you... was all spruce. Like, there were spruce, like, oh, wow. everywhere. Like, everywhere. And, like, this whole area back here, this was all covered, and I demolished it. Well, at least you can see. The next... Well, I mean, you are in a, uh, where is it? Uh, a taiga. Mm-hmm. So, mm -hmm. well, let's, let's say you can't lose out on any wood, because... Oh, no, no, yeah, because I get everything that I cut down. See, the way I like to build is I like to flatten. I like to flatten, demolish, you know, get rid mm -hmm. of everything, including the grass. Just uh, that, everything. That's what I did with yeah. mine on um, my yeah. island, just flattened everything out because I'm not good with landscaping. Yep. Which you, see, which you see how I use the landscaping as well to do paths, to do different things and, you know, stuff like that. So... Oh, and eventually, what I'm going to do this way, let's see how this path goes down here. Mm -hmm. It's going to eventually come around this way. It's going to come down here. 
and then it's going to come into this heel side here. I'm going to dig this out, and this is going to be like an underground market type thing down here. Ooh. It's going to be underneath the, the tree forms and stuff like that. Ooh, so. the under tree market. Yes. But that is my idea for that right there. That's, that's the time I left this the way I did. You know, so I seen this and I was like, that's perfect. Oh, yeah. don't you just love that when Minecraft just hands you gifts like that? Yes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for the tour. Not a problem. So I look forward to seeing more of your videos. Um, guys, if you haven't checked out White Top, she's lovely and yeah, she'll show you how she's done some of these builds. So definitely, oh, yeah, definitely, definitely check her out if you haven't already. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll catch you later there, White Top. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Well, let's take a break from the base tours for a little bit because I just got a box. I was told that there was something here, so I went to check it out, and sure enough, one for chaos, which is. Oh, <laughs> so earlier I had the naughty, and now I have the nice one, which I'll just read it real quickly. I have read it before because I've even gone this one. That was the first one. Uh, and, you know, place place to add one item or stack of items to the box. Once you've completed, pass along to somebody else. If you happen to receive a box full, congratulations, you keep your items unless you wish to pass it along instead. So... People have been given one diamond here, a mending book, a couple of bottles of enchants, totem of undying, elytra. Oh, I don't have any of my equipment because I was going to do stuff. So let's just slowly take this and let's go back to my base and fill or give something. So I decided that I would go into my redstone box, uh, considering that I have an infinite number of redstone I decided to add 64 blocks of redstone so somebody's gonna get a hefty number of redstone whoever gets this complete I'll just continue along the lines all right now to pass it on to somebody well after doing a few of those base tours I decided to start working on my iron farm a bit uh, my bigger one and as you may have noticed I'm here at my little one now, two of them don't work. That one doesn't have a zombie in it at all. And that one, for some reason, the villagers hop together. Don't know why that is, but so only two of them work. And I sat AFK and to get my village breeder up so I could breed up some of the villagers for the new iron farm. And I happened to notice something. And, you know, a couple of iron golems here, but... It's not just a couple. I don't know what happened, but this is a lot of iron golems. I don't know what happened, how they got over the edge, but this is just too funny. And <laughs> there is so many of them. And yeah, now I've got to get rid of them all, so... I'm going to be spending some time killing these things. <laughs> Let's get an overview of of it. So we'll shoot around and there we go. Oh, that's, they're, they're much better. Like, I don't know how that all happened. There's so many of them. So many iron golems. So I've got I've got my bow, I've got my arrows. Let's go start killing them. So after an overnight of Ave Kane here, uh, I had to fix up some of my storage uh, system. It was getting blockage. I get a message from Urgar saying that he came here and found three zombie villagers. Uh, I guess this guy was the cause of two of them at least because my protector ooh, for 16 oh, I could get him down really low and my looting three were also were all in, infected so I did the right thing and tried to capture them 
And I have Mom Mom on her way to give me some apples because I have the nuggets for it. And I have one splash of weak splash po potion of weakness. At least I, yeah, Le um, yeah, it, it is. So I'm gonna convert these into zombie or back into villagers, and then have them go and just talk and gossip. So maybe I can get some really really good trades. So let's see how that turns out. Well, I ended up. Messing up a little bit. Uh, I thought that the golden apples required nuggets, not golden ignits. So I threw the splash potion on all three. Realized I didn't have any golden apples, even after Mom Mom gave me a stack of apples. And quickly rushed to make them. And then realized, oh, I need ignits for it. So I quickly rushed to get it. And I was able to get one. And then I was get. Then Mom Mom gave me potions but they weren't splashed so I had to change them into splash finally was able to get the three which was weird because one of them was a fisherman which after he got turned he ended up being just nothing so I'm gonna put a librarian and see what I can get from him for it uh, as for the other two uh, it was this one the protection four so now I can get protection four which is really good for one emerald and I have the book uh, for the, the basically the OP, and that's good because 1.15 is officially out at this point. Um, we, however, aren't going to update just yet. We're just going to wait for Optifine and everything else to go. Basically, when Hermacraft updates, that's when we're going to update. That's hopefully the plan. And the other one is, in fact... The looting three that I got for one book and he's got the same as well so I have two basically uh, invincible ones I might move them around uh, some of them do have tracks underneath so I do I might move them around and I tried to get them to gossip it wasn't overly working I mean I got channeling down from seven to four power from I mean, see, earlier it was 14, now it's back up to 16, and my mending, which is over here, is now 8, and he was at 7 at one point. So, I'm not entirely sure, maybe somebody down in the comments can explain how gossiping all works, and if that's the case, I might just turn every single one into a zombie, and then go from there. Uh, so, we just got one more thing to do now. And that is to stand right here where we all began this episode, in front of Doodle's skin shop. Yes, she has finally got it built. Skins of Nature by Doodle. And look, there's me. That that there's me. <laughs> let's uh. Let let's let's do this. Okay, we'll turn around. And there we go. Oh, we'll just take that out. I mean, if I could put my arms up, I would, but... Yeah, she killed me to get that head. You could have just bought it over... Ooh, too close. You could have just bought it over there, you know? But no, she had to kill me. Oh, man, walking backwards is a lot harder than... Okay. There we go. So there we go. There I am. Yes, th this skin was made by Doodle, for those of you who don't know. So let's check out the shop. We've got Doodle here making making the skin. And we got... So, five diamonds for a skin. Honestly, and Doodle, if you're watching this, I would honestly pay you 20 diamonds for a skin. Because skin takes a... I mean, I don't know how fast you do yours, but... It takes a lot of work. I mean, mine is just insane. Or mine's simple. Like, you got rays, you got ha white top, and you got diamonds. And, yeah, so, I mean, five if you want, but I would recommend 20 because I'm assuming people would pay for that. And look at this nice little sewing machine she's got. She did a wonderful job of that. Um, but, yeah. 
So, anyways, um, so that'll be it for today's episode. If you liked the video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe. Hit that bell to get notified for future episodes. This server is hosted by MC Pro Hosting, and if you or any of your friends want to host a server, consider using MC Pro Hosting. You get 15% off any plans by using the code word Townsies. That's T O W N I E S. Link will be in the description below. Thanks for watching. I am Chaos, and I'm signing out. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Oh, and if you haven't, check out my Facebook page. Um, it's in the description as well. Take care.